All right, next book. We've done uh, 135 tips for email, instant messaging, blogs, and chat rooms by Cheryl Lindsay Roberts, uh, published in 2008. Uh, still pretty up to date. Uh, if you included something like Discord in here, I'd say it would be almost, it would cover pretty much everything for online communication. Pretty boring. I deliberately picked this so I can get through the books that I need to read. I think I have five books to go, which is not a lot of time for me to finish. So a little bit like bland, but pretty useful information. Uh, this is about common sense in emails. Email is a very, is a very, excuse me, email is a serious business communication tool and you should treat it with the same respect as any other business document you write. The computer screen doesn't have the weft and feel of sheet paper, but that's no excuse to abandon the good habits you learn for the print medium. Always remember that email is a legal document. Even if you delete an email, it can be forensically recovered and used against you in a court of law. And there's some really good tips in here about uh, company policy and how to be careful with the way you speak in emails and you know, understanding the difference between CC, BCC, uh, how not to reply to lots of emails. I actually had a conversation with a lawyer uh, over, I think last week, about some people who have lost their jobs in the military because of the fact that they've replied to everyone and put um, personal information in that. So that's so it's good to learn about these mistakes people made. Uh, this is creating a company policy. Businesses today face a number of email threats that include breach of confidentiality, legal liability, damage to reputation, lost productivity, network congestion, and downtime. Also, email can be retrieved if your company is facing a lawsuit. It's imperative that every company has, distributes, and updates a policy governing email. According to Nancy, Nancy Flynn of the EE Policy Institute, if you have a policy in place, have conducted a formal training program and have stored proper technology, you can walk into a courtroom and demonstrate that you've done due diligence. So yeah, if you're looking to up some skills in your messaging uh, and email skills, this is really handy information. Check it out.